What's going on there fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. Guys, I got a cool video for you today, but this time it's another one of those viewer participation videos where I don't tell you what these things are. You give me your take. Here's the thing, guys. Sometimes the when I post something, if I tell you what it is, it, you might be, um, you know, swayed to believe the same thing I am. I don't want to do that. Sometimes it's better just to get your take on it and tell me which you think it is. So I'm going to do that today for you. Okay. Check this out. This is the picture you'll get. Okay, this is from Sol 665. Yep, and from the nav cam, left nav cam, uh, or nav cams are from, uh, there we go. So, check this out. Before you do anything to this picture, I'm going to show you this. Because my buddy Mark from uh, Truth Seeker, he had done this. Um, if you just, <laughs> just jumping into this, look at the top. He's done something about, uh, I believe it was the... Uh, domes and stuff like that on top if you see the, if you look real carefully this looks like it has these weird dome kind of things right there but look right here there's also what looks like blocks long building type thing drops down to here see that drops down and it looks like there's a smaller one next to it um and yeah there's some crazy things here but i'm going to show you something when i invert it's a little bit different but that's not what i'm really focused on my focus here is basically here right here at the base of the of the mountain now guys if you've been following my videos i've been doing you know mount shop not what you think it is i did like three part series on that and there's always something different <clears throat> excuse me in this mountain and it's crazy the last time i inverted this thing there was some kind of it looked like there was a road running along here and it would go up into this mountain and one actually branched off what looked like it had a bridge type thing going down to the lower section well and here of course here's the the infamous road type thing or bridge call it what you will um and so, yeah, but I'm going <laughs> to, I always invert on this because we know it's a bunch of crap and it looks like just, uh, you know, just a 2D kind of thing going on here. You don't see much of anything, but when you invert, suddenly all different kind of wild, uh, you know, uh, anomalies pop right out and it's more of a 3D and looks more realistic. Uh, so you make, you know, some people say, well, why would you invert it? Well, I don't know. You tell me why. Why does it look more realistic when I invert it? And like, here's a good example. What does this in nature? What has this rectangular, you know, area right here? One, two lines, three lines, and has what? I don't even know what this is. Has this weird, what looks like a half cylindrical item. And you can just see it kind of goes from right here from the front to the back. And has some other thing laying right here. And a lot of this is so blotched out, you can't tell what it is. So, okay. Let's jump into the picture I've got. And, of course, you guys will get the link to this. You can see that right there. You'll get the link. No big deal. Okay, now what I'm going to do right off the bat is I'm just going to go ahead and just blur this up and just brighten it up a hair bit. Let's see what we got. And this is just from the picture. This is not, you know, doing any kind of inverting or anything. Okay, look how clean this suddenly looks. Look at that. Now, you can't make out what this stuff is, but you can clearly see that it's there. Okay, um, and now if you look now, look at this way up at the top here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but check this out. It looks like there's like this faded out little pyramid. I don't know if you guys can see that, but right there... And there's one that looks like it's more of a uh, lesser degree um, or more of a steeper looking pyramid with some kind of round circle on it. That's just funky, but it's there. <laughs> Whatever that is, it's there. Um, okay. Now, let me do this. Now, I'm going to invert this. And I'm gonna, and you guys tell me, like I said, I've got like three areas. Like I got a black arrow next to them. And to the right of each of these arrows, you tell me what the, you think these things are. And I've got other items I'm going to show you as well. So, okay. All right, here's the three arrows. Here's the three anomalies in question. Now, I'm going to zoom right in. Okay, there's one hand to the left. And, of course, I will back out to show you guys a little bit better right here. I'm also doing this for the people who are using phones and tablets as well. So I'm trying to give everybody, uh, show everybody a little bit of love so they can all see this, you know. Um, okay, right here. To the right of that is something right here. Now, check this way this thing goes out. It goes like this. And you can see what looks like, you know, just... You know, this actually goes past this because you can see it drop down, goes past this white area. That's why I think this is a lot of manipulation in here. Um, okay, there's something right here. Okay. All of this right here, the stuff that looks like it's overlaying each other. And keep an eye on, guys, you got to keep an eye on the actual, uh, you know, details of these things too. Um, there's something right in here. And you see where it actually goes across down in the bottom here. 
And like I said, I'm not going to tell you what the what these things are, guys, or what I think they are, because I don't want to influence any anybody's thoughts. I want you guys to give me your thoughts on it. Uh, you can call them bat tubs for all I care. The point is, it's like, what are these things? And keep in mind, this is Mars. Um, and this little thing here, this little white object. Um, okay, so let's let's see. If we can. I think I've got another one here that's a little bit more. Okay. What I do is I kind of blurred a little bit and then got rid of the, the arrows and stuff like that. And here you go. Here's the actual object. Now, check this out. You can actually see it dropping past this whitened area. So you can see this has been manipulated. It's clearly has another piece going down past this white area. So it's clearly been manipulated and trying to be thrown over. We're just seeing things peeking through these or this uh, these uh, manipulations that they do to these things right here. Um, and all on the back here. And like I said, these all the just pieces just laying around. The only thing I'm going to say that it looks like to me, and I'm just going to point out one thing, it looks like a set of stairs right here. You know, and of course you're going to think whatever these things are here, be proportionary with it. You can't say it's, a, you know, it's, a, I don't know, it's a huge building. And if you think these are whatever these are, then it wouldn't make much sense. So, um, and like I said, I've got my ideas what these things are, of course. Um, okay, I'm, let me back out. Now, what I do is I change the tones up a little bit, like the background grays and stuff like that, to give you guys a better perspective. Some things will pop a little easy for you, and sometimes they won't. So, all right, here's, here's our arrows again, and I have, if you notice, it's, see how like it's lighter here? Now, I put a little more darkness into certain areas, like in this area here. See this right here on the right? Okay. When I do this, it helps to bring out the actual shapes or, uh, you know, different details. So... Okay, from left to right, again, right here, let me, right in here, so I'm going to just be backed out a little bit, here, here, there's a set of stairs or whatever that looks like, it kind of looks like a set of stairs anyway, this right here, this object, this little object, these in here, I mean, there's some kind of weird, it looks like an overhang, that's all I'm going to say about that, but there's a cluster of things sitting in here, I don't know what this stuff is, but, I mean, just look at the shape of them. I mean, God, my God, what is that? I don't care if these, if people want to call these rocks, that's your prerogative. These are the funkiest rocks I've ever seen in my life. Let's just put it that way. So, okay. I'm going to jump into, okay, here's a little bit different. Just change up the tones a little bit here and try to get different, uh, so we can get a little bit better detail. Okay. I'm going to hit the blue filter there and see what we get. All right. So we can bring down the little brighter spots and maybe perhaps bring out some more detail. Okay. Again, the three spots. And like I said, this middle one, I believe these all three are the same. Or there's like four or five of the same kind of whatever I think they are. But they're just, you know, some, well, this middle one is really obscured. But you can kind of make it out a little bit. Um, but the other two, guys, these are half buried or just half manipulated. And they're half covered or they're naturally covered. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. And again, these I've always said this in the beginning, that these are merely speculation because we can't, come on, there's no way I can say yay or nay or show you exactly what these things are. I just, there's no way. Um, all I can do is point out what I think these things are. I get your take and you tell me and that's how we find the truth. Um, you guys might see something totally different. I would just go, oh, pff, I never even looked at it like that. Um, I'm just going to show you now in the red filter from left to right. And again, guys, pause, pause this thing anywhere you like. It doesn't matter. So if you feel I'm going a little too fast, because I'm trying not to make this too long, but again, you can always pause it. You can pause it for an hour. It doesn't even matter. Um, this item, this item here. Like I said, half of these things are buried. Some of them are just maybe halfway buried. Um, I, I don't know. It's just, just some crazy things. Right here. This is probably the most craziest part of this picture right here. But that's not the only things, man. And, uh, you know, it's just nuts. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and sharpen this up a little bit. And then we'll go from there. Again, this time we'll do it from right to left. And like I said, just look at the little features in here. Things sticking out. And I don't know what these things are, man. I, I really don't. But well, I've got my idea, of course. And I already said that. But what I'm trying to do is give you guys the you know, the opportunity to tell me and weigh in what you think this stuff is. Uh, right here on the left. You know, like I said, just shopping up a little bit. Maybe bring out some more detail. Maybe it'll make it a little bit better. Now I'm going to zoom in. Go back to the red filter and zoom into these main ones. Um, and I'm going to jump way in there so the people with these smaller devices can really see this stuff. Because there's, even though you're on a, if you're on a PC at home, this may look grainy. But to them, it'll actually look pretty sharp. So right here, right here, 
right here on the right. This object to the right of it. This small white one right here. All of this cluster of stuff right here. Just stuff overlaying each other. It looks like just all collapsed on top of each other, you know? Um, this right here. I don't know what that is. I got an idea what that is, but... And even if my idea... I don't even know if my idea, my idea is even right. But there's something right here. You can see this weird, like, shapes and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... See this right here? It's got this weird, funky shape stuff. I don't know what those are either. Okay. I'm gonna do the sharpening. And just go back over it real quick. Take a look at these things. Give me your take. And like I said, I like doing these once in a while, guys, because I like, you know, find out what you guys think this stuff is. And that's what it's all about. It's a viewer participation. You guys always weigh in anyway, because I always give you the last word. But this time, you got the word, not the last word. Um, and just, you know, it's your opportunity to weigh in and tell me what you think these things are. Um, anyway, guys, I want to jump on out of here. I just want to give you uh, a quick look at what I, like I said, this is a base of bone shop. You know, we don't, I couldn't tell you exactly what these things are, and there's no way of proving whether, yay or nay, they are what I say they are. And again, it's pure speculation, but on the other side of the token, these are shapes you don't contribute, or you don't say that you can equal these to rocks, shapes of rocks. We know this is more than just rocks here, I can promise you that. And here they are. I mean, you know, I just see like multi-level of, uh, you know, it could be roads, uh, levels of rock area, I, I, you know, side of the mountain, base of the mountain. I don't believe for a minute this is water. <laughs> I really don't. I've seen too many of these pictures, and I can promise you this is not water. This is something else. This is a uh, what's over from an ancient civilization, and there's all kinds of anomalies showing right here exactly things that are left over or things that are pe peeking through the manipulation that they don't want us to see. Anyway, guys, again, give me your take. Let's go back to the original. Boom, nothing to see. Nothing really exciting. There you go. But anyway, guys, I'm going to back on out of here. Again, you guys will get the link so you guys can analyze this picture yourself, of course. Um, that's the way we roll on here. And most of my friends that do any of these uh, and on the Mars team, they all do this. They all put the links on there, which is a bonus. Because, I mean, some of these people can pull this out of their hat and you wouldn't even know it. You know, be like, oh, really? Um, you know, is this faked? No, it's right there, man. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to jump out of here. Uh, give me your take on it. Let me know what you think these things are because I have my ideas and I think you, some of you guys will agree. I think you guys will be like right on board with it. And I'm just kind of curious. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. I do this for you guys and I do this for myself because I enjoy the hunt. So anyway, guys, I will see you next pick.